it has been decades, centuries, since you, the chosen undead, linked the fire. The memories have long been forgotten and have faded with the passing of time. The once sturdy armor you wear has already fallen into disrepair and blackened by immolation from the flames. As for your trusty weapons, they have been marred by age, remaining both unused and unremembered by your side. Yet despite all this, you feel as though they have never failed you, and that in all their years, never have they betrayed you when times were tough and the stakes were dire, that they will fight with you until the very end. That is the only thing you are sure of, for everything else seems tested and dreamlike, something from a past long ago, a past that belonged to someone else, perhaps a brave hero remembered for their valiant deeds and actions, perhaps an unknown stranger who took it upon themselves to do what no others would or could do, you don't remember. These thoughts drift through your ever-crumbling mind, and all the while disquiet and mental unrest looms ever closer. Will these feelings, will these possessions that once occupied another person's thoughts, in another age, in another time, ever be of significance to you? The end approaches now. You see the figure coming through the fog-filled archway facing the place you have waited and pondered all this time. They are here for something. They are here to meet you, for no one has visited this place for several lifetimes. They draw their weapon. It is of unusual design, as is their garments. But no matter, they are here to fight for whatever reason. You no longer remember, nor you care. The answers have long lost their as they walk toward you with their guard up in a ready stance, their face filled with equal amounts of awe and defiance. You try to stand. It takes several long minutes. Your armor clatters together as you shake off the thick layer of ash that has covered you for as longer than you can fathom. You draw your weapon. It creaks and groans like an old beast nearing the end of its life. You try to flourish it, the movements embedded into your body, but your grip fails you. It has been too long since you last wielded it. The weapon falls to the ground weakly. For a long time you stare at it, trying to remember whence it came from. Out of the corner of your vision, you see the figure relax and walks calmly, confidently towards you. Still looking at the ground, you await your inevitable fate. They pick up the dropped weapon, testing its weight. You look up in surprise. Grasping your hand, they place the weapon in your palm. You try to find the words to express your thanks, however having not spoken for so long, you only manage a raspy groan. Already the figure is taking their position a distance away, once again getting ready to fight you. Now armed, you call up the last vestiges of strength in your body, the final traces of concentration and sanity to aid you in this battle. Now blazing with old energies, you charge stone-faced towards your opponent, as they to you. You find yourself face down in the ash-covered ground. There is a pain emanating from somewhere on your body, but it is fading quickly. You try to look up and see the victorious opponent walking towards the dying embers of the flame you have held watch over all this time. A fragment of memory strikes you suddenly. With the last remaining strength you have left, you crawl towards the base of a pillar that pierces up through the ground. Wiping away the charred face and ash, you uncover the writing scrawled onto the surface. You remember now, this was your name. You had a name. That was what was missing all along. A feeling of profound emancipation flows over your mind, and you realize that with a name, you can finally rest, rest in the warmth coming from the newly linked bonfire. A well-earned rest, chosen undead.